and we're we're coming to the end of the fall season and you know depending on who you know what system you use meteorologically the fall or the winter season started uh, december 1st these are the weather people and uh, if you want to follow the astronomers well the uh, that's december 21st and the traditional chinese medicine folks the that's where Qigong comes from. They have a, a, a different timing as well. And it's more around what particular events are happening at the time. So, you know, for example, in the fall, we have the harvesting. And once the harvesting is done, well, then we move into the winter season. And each one of them are about 10 weeks long, but we have five seasons. So that's sort of 50 weeks. And well, there's two left over. And what my teacher says, time for vacation and so we're going to be doing something similar here you know christmas time we're, we're going to take a break for a little bit of time probably a week or so and uh, then we'll be back at it again with our winter schedule so next saturday we'll be looking at the winter stuff but today we're still in the fall season and so this is you know the the healing sound we've been working with is hiss and uh, you know, it sounds like air escaping from a high pressure container, a tube, a bicycle tube, whatever. And so that's the sound. And the organs we're looking at are the lungs and the large intestine. And the, the lung meridian actually starts up here in the shoulder and goes down the inside of the arm and finishes up on the thumb. The large intestine meridian starts here on the little finger goes a little little finger this is not the little finger this is the first the pointer whatever you want to call it and goes along here and it goes along the back of the arm and comes up up the side of the face and then finishes on the opposite side of the nose all right there's a little hollow in there and uh, so that, those are the two meridians that we're playing with this season the uh, the healing sound we talked about was hiss and the color is gray and silver the emotion that we're looking at is grief, sadness, loss, that sort of package of stuff. And as far as, well, we already talked about, you know, from a, a nature point of view, this is the harvest time. And from an age point of view, this is uh, 58 to 83. But enough of this rambling on. Uh, today, we're going to get back there and we're going to do a bunch of interesting things. We've been doing the lung regulating protocol, and so we're going to continue with that as well. And I can't remember if we're doing the eight pieces of brocade or if we're doing the golden chi ball series. I'll get back there and I can check my sheets and we will know. All right, I had the golden chi ball series sort of up. And so that's the one we'll be looking at today. So standing. You want to have the feet more or less parallel. You know, we're not looking to do this. And you know, if you need to have the feet turned out a little bit, well, that's fine. You want to work within the comfort zone of your body. But you want to have the knees ever so slightly bent. You also want to have the feet coming straight down out of the hips. So if you look down at your feet, you're going to be able to fit your two fists, your two hands between your feet comfortably. Maybe a little tight, maybe a little loose, but that's the whole idea. We're not standing like this, nor are we here like this. We just have a comfortable space so that the legs are coming down straight. So today we're going to work on our three-part breath. Then we'll move into our standing posture for today. So the three-part breath, we've talked about it many times but it begins by filling out the abdomen. So expanding the abdomen as we fill up with air, we're breathing deep. And then we breathe more on top of that. So breathe deep, breathe deep again. And one last time, putting in what we can. It's also known as the three sipping method. So we're filling up here, we're filling up here, and then finally that last little sip. And then we hold briefly, like just for a second. And then exhale, we empty it out completely. 
And at some point, you you may end up coughing, and that's sort of like this is what happens because this is this is one of the methods we use to help increase the capacity of the lungs and improve its health. So let's start. So inhale, inhale. Inhale. <clears throat> yeah, we'll do two more like this. Last one. Oh, we'll do one more. Here we go. And next, we're going to be looking at doing our standing posture for today, which is holding the golden chi ball. So we start here. Sorry, we start here. We focus on our body to begin with. So you want to have the knees slightly bent. You grab the hips, push down with the thumbs, draw the tailbone into the body, lift up the pelvic floor, the hoi yin, pull in the belly button. Lift the ribs, so we're creating space in the abdomen. We're also straightening our spine out. Draw the chin in just a little bit so that we don't end up with the head forward. You want to have the head, the top of the head, over the torso. So drawing the chin, being aware of where our chin is at and just drawing it in a little bit. Looking to the horizon. Take the top of the head, reach up to the heavens. And now, holding the chi ball, we come around. And we have a cupping palm here. You know, the fingers are slightly bent. And we're holding a beach ball. And we draw it in below the navel. Inhale. We drift forward for a count of four onto the small, onto the small triangle, the toes. Exhale for a count of four. We drift back onto the heels, the large triangle. So inhaling. Exhale. Inhale, we drift forward. Exhale. So inhale, we focus our attention, our awareness on the breath as we breathe in. And we focus our attention on the breath as we breathe out. Two more breaths. Breathe in for a count of four. And we breathe out for a count of four. And we'll let the arms relax. And now we're going to do some of our warm up movements here. And we're going to start with the drumming series. So, tapping the hips as we turn the head and look over the shoulder, giving a nice twist to the spine, warming up the muscles, loosening them up in the torso. One more like this, and now 
cleaning the dragon's whiskers, cupping the shoulder, tapping the kidney, looking behind us. One more like this. And now flinging sleeves. One more cycle. And we come back to the front. And now we're going to do a side body stretch. This is crescent moon. So you take this foot out to the side a little bit and you lift the toes. And this is called seven star stance because the toes are lifted and they're pointing to the big dipper, which has seven stars in it. You take this hand and we push across. So you want to shift the hips just a little bit. You take this hand and you turn the palm to the heavens and then you bring the hand over the foot. So this elbow is pointing up, two shoulder blades, two hips touching the wall behind and we're looking to the horizon between the foot and the hand. So we'll hold here for three breaths. Breathe in again. Last breath here. And now we move to the opposite side. So the feet are parallel. We shift the weight, lift the toes, push across, point the fingers to the toes, look to the horizon. One more breath. And we'll do once more on each side. Pushing the elbow up to the heavens, feeling a stretch along the side of the body. And once more, last side. And we come back to the center. So that was a side body stretch, looking to get the torso kind of limbered up this way. And now we're going to do, hold the golden chi ball, we did that, boost the immune system. And we're gonna do our wave hands like clouds variation of boosting our immune system. So we start here, we want to be in that stacking of the bone stance. So the hip stays over the ankle as we move from side to side. And we start here by gathering in fresh chi and we drop it in to the brass basin. So inhaling, exhale. We do it once more. Inhale, gathering fresh chi from the east and from the west. 
And now we draw some chi up from the earth and down from the heavens. Again. And now we get rid of turbid chi. So we're gathering up the turbid chi, the waste from the brass basin, drawing it up and pushing it away. So we're getting rid of the gray, grungy chi. And we do again on the other side. And we watch the chi go off into the distance and disperse. So inhale, drying up the chi from the earth. Exhale, bring it down from the heavens. Now gathering up fresh chi from the east. And from the west, exhale. Fresh chi from the spring. And from the fall. Once more. And now last time getting rid of turbid chi. So we gather up the use, the waste, and we expel it from the body. So inhale. All right, last cycle. Inhale. Gathering fresh chi, we draw it into the body. And inhale. And exhale. All right, so now we're gonna move on to the Golden Chi Ball series. So we need to have the feet back in their narrow stance. So the knees slightly bent. And you know, we're always paying attention to where our weight is on our feet, which helps with our balance. So are we in the toes, the small triangle? Are we in our heels, the large triangle? And if we go too far, we're gonna end up going, oh, oh shoot, losing our balance and need to either step forward or back. So the more that we know, are we in our toes or are we in our heels, becoming more aware of what's going on with our feet, the more, the better our balance will be. So we start with shaking the nine gates. Our hands are wet. Shake the water off the hands. So the nine gates, the wrists, the elbows, the shoulders, that's one set of three. The knees, the hips, the ankles, a second set of three. And then turning and looking over the shoulder. So the lower back, the ribs, and the neck. The third set of three. And those are the nine gates. So inhale, facing front, 
exhale, right? So we twist and look over the shoulder. So once more, last side coming up. And we're back here to the front. So next is standing on a boat. So for this guy, we start with our feet. With pretty well all of our Qigong movements, we start with the feet. So we put weight in the toes and we lift the ribs, the dragon's back, and we let the arms drift up. And exhale, the turtle back, let the arms come down. Inhale, stretch the front to the body as the arms drift up. Exhale, stretch the back of the body as the arms drift down. So we're breathing in for a count of four, we're breathing out for a count of four. In through the nose, out through the nose. And we have a dragon's back as we go forward, a turtle back as we come back. Inhaling, exhale. And we'll do two more like this. Last one. All right, next is Phoenix ascends the flame. So for this guy, we reach down to the earth. So we lower the hips, we drop down a little bit as we're comfortable. Gather the chi from the earth, a dragon's back here. Shoulder blades come together, look to the heavens. And then exhale, draw the chi in to the brass basin. So inhaling. Exhale. Yeah, we have two more like this. Last one. All right, so that was Phoenix Ascends the Flame. Next is a monkey leaps from a tree and there's two versions of this. And we're going to go through both of them. We're going to do the, the gentle one to begin with. And this one, it's a small triangle, dragon's back, reach the hands up, look up. We catch a parcel in our hands and exhale. We sink down with a dragon's back, put the parcel down. We shift to a turtle back 
The hands come up the back and up here. Exhale. And just looking from the side. So exhale, we lower down. And then we shift to a turtle back as we come up. And we do one more like this. Now that was monkey leaps from a tree, what I look at as the sedate version. And the next one is more vigorous. So you may find that the previous one is the one more to your liking and that's fine. Stick with that. Then if you're looking for a little more vigor, well, we can give this one a go as well. So for this one, the story is this. The monkey is hanging from the branch of the tree and we lift up so we're just hanging from our toes or just barely on the branch. So it's inhale here. And then the monkey lets go. Ah! And we land on the ground, inhale. Ah! Let's have a look from the side because it is quite different. Ah. Ah. Two more. Ah. Ah. And we come on up. So that was monkey leaps from a tree, one that looks like a monkey leaping from a tree, and the other one where the monkey is grabbing bags of rice and putting them down by his feet. So that was monkey. Next is snake rises out of the grass. So for this guy, you bring the back of the hands together. We have that scooping palm, like we're holding, uh, Chocolate chips, <laughs> candy kisses, Halloween cake, food, treats. So you bring the palms to the kidneys. We lift the ribs. So this is a big dragon's back. Keeping that dragon's back, we bring the hands, the back of the hands along the inside of the legs. We come down to the earth. And then inhale, we come back up. And exhale. All right, so inhale, gathering the chi, lifting the ribs. Exhale with that dragon's back, we fold forward. Inhale with a turtle back, we come up. And exhale, we drop the chi in to the brass basin. So inhaling. Gathering the chi. Inhaling. Inhale with the dragon's back. And we fold forward the dragon's back as we exhale. Inhale with the turtle back, we come up. Exhale. 
All right, so we'll do two more of these. Gathering the chi and that scooping palm, covering the kidneys. And then folding forward. Inhale. And exhale. Last one. All right, so that was the snake rises out of the grass. Next is embracing the sun and the moon. We need to be in a different stance for this one. So we bring the feet out to the side. And this is stacking the bone stance. So we come over here, this knee bent, this leg straight, hip over the ankle, and it's kind of stuck there. And that's the reason to have these feet a little further apart. Now we're gonna be moving from side to side. So embracing the sun and the moon. So we come over here, we turn a little bit, and we're gathering some chi from the moon. We come down, we make a circle, and we come up. So the hips turn slightly as we look to the side. Exhale, make a circle. Inhale. Exhale for a count of four. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, watch the hands rise up. Exhale, we push with the foot, the hips turn, the torso turns and the arms move. And we'll do two more cycles. And we start here. So inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhaling. This is the last cycle and the last side. And so that was embracing the sun and the moon. Now we bring the feet back to our narrow stance here. And next up is clearing the seven energy centers. And so we start with the root, the navel, the stomach, the heart, the throat, the forehead, and the crown. So we're gonna bring fresh chi to each one of these and push out the turbid chi as well. And we're doing, we're, we're looking to do it three times in each place. So we start with stirring up the chi in the brass basin, up the back and down the front. Now we hold some of that chi here at the surface. Exhale, we push down to the root. Inhale, we draw it up to the top of the, of the thigh, which is about halfway up the hips. And we come through well below the navel. Exhale, we push down. Inhale, we come up. And exhale, last one here. Inhale, weight in the toes. Exhale, weight in the heels. Now we move up to the navel. So inhale. Exhale. Draw the chi up and through 
exhale, we push the turbot chi down and away. So inhale, we come up to the stomach. Exhale. So inhaling. And exhale. Now from the stomach, we go up to the heart. Inhale, we lift the gaze. Exhale, we lower the gaze. Once more here. And from the heart, we move on to the throat. And now we move up to the forehead. Inhaling. Exhale. So once more here. And now we move up to the crown, the byway point, just above the skull. Inhale, we lift the gaze. Exhale. We lower the gaze once more here. And now we're going to come down like we've done in the in the recent past. We're going to be going down the Tai Chi pole. So it's inhale. We we come up. And exhale, we come down either side of the head, and then we come down either side of the body. So inhale, exhale, bring the shoulder blades together. So the Tai Chi pole goes from the Hoi Yin to the Bai Wei point, and it's just in front of the spine. So last time. And now we'll pull down the heavens to wrap up that particular movement. All right, so next is gather the clouds to make a jade pillow. So for this guy, we're back in our narrow stance, which where we've been for the last few. So gathering the clouds to make a jade pillow, we use that scooping palm and we take the elbows wide, bring the shoulder blades together. We cover the base of the skull where the jade pillow is. It's that bump at the back of the skull. We look up to the heavens, bring shoulder blades together. And then tuck the chin, tuck the tailbone, lowering the hips as we're comfortable. Inhale, we come up. Exhale, we draw the chi down in to the brass basin. So let's have a look from the side here as well. So inhale, we gather the chi. We have a dragon's back. Exhale with a turtle back. Inhale, we come up. 
and exhale. Inhale, gather the chi. Shoulder blades come together. Exhale, turtle back. And we'll do two more like this. And again. So that was scatter the clouds to make a jade pillow. Next is return to fetal position. So for this guy, we're using a different hand again. So for most of these, we've been using our scooping palm, as I said, holding a handful of chocolate chips. This time we're holding a robin's egg. Let's come a little closer here so you can see what's going on. So you take the hand, bring the fingers down and you wrap the thumb across the nails. So I end up with a hollow thumb, a hollow thumb, a hollow hand. So I can, <clears throat> I can put a robin's egg in the palm of my hand and hold it without crushing it. Hence the name of this hand. So it's a hollow fist. So we gather some chi with that robin's egg fist. Bring the back of the hands to the kidneys. We stretch the front of the body. And then with this dragon's back, we fold forward. Wrists come together, elbows come together. You drop to the knees, you drop to the wrists. And then inhale, circling the palm, the abdomen. Exhale, we drop into the brass basin. So inhaling. Exhale. Inhale, exhale. So inhale, gathering the chi from the heavens, bring it around to the kidneys. And then folding forward with that dragon's back. Inhale, we come up. Exhale. Inhaling. Two more like this. Last one. All right, so that was return to fetal position. Now the last one in the series is leading the golden chi ball around the small circuit. And so having a look from the side, the small circuit consists of two vessels. The governing vessel, which goes up the back, and the conception vessel, which comes down the front. So from the side, the governing vessel starts here at the root, 
and comes up either side of the spine. So it has two tracks. And it comes up over the head and stops at the roof of the mouth. Now the conception vessel starts here at the lower jaw and goes down in a single path down the sternum, down the abdomen, past the navel, all the way down to the root, the hoi yin, at the end of the spine. So we have these two vessels make up the small circuit. And what we're going to be doing is circulating chi through these two vessels. And so we start by stirring up the chi in the brass basin. So we come here, we hold it here. Exhale, we push down to the root. Inhale, we come up the spine. We lift the ribs, we lift the chin, a big dragon's back. And then exhale, a bit of a turtle back as we draw the chi down. Inhale, weight in the toes. We're on the small triangle as we look to the heavens. Exhale. Large triangle as we look to the earth. Inhaling. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, small triangle, drag us back. We lift the gaze. Exhale, large triangle, turtle back. We lower the gaze. So three more. And last one. All right. And now we pull down the heavens three times. Two more. And now we're going to look at the healing sound for this season. And the sound is hiss. And like I said way back at the beginning, it sounds like air escaping from a tube, like a bicycle tube, a car tire, whatever. And it's that long hiss sound. And what this is doing is we're breathing in fresh chi. We're filling up the lungs as much as possible. And then we're exhaling turbid chi. In this case, it's the gray color. And so it's inhale, filling the lungs. And exhale, expelling that gray grungy chi off into the distance. We're getting rid of the waste. And also, Part of the healing sound is, is that we're working on grief, sadness. There's another descriptive word which just ran away for the moment. And loss, that was the other one. So yeah, grief, sadness, loss, those sorts of things all associated with this sort of healing sound and with this season. And we also have a hand movement that goes on with this. And so you make the letter L with the thumb and the first finger. The other three folded in. So we do it with both hands. And the reason for this, again, talking way back at the beginning, is the lung meridian finishes here on the thumb and the large intestine meridian begins on the finger. 
and ends up here at the nose. So the long meridian from the shoulder down the inside of the arm, finishing up at the thumb. The large intestine meridian starting at the finger, coming along the back of the arm, and then up and across and finishes on the opposite nostril. So we're here. You bring the hands up. So inhale. Yes. And you pull with the elbows. Inhale. Yes. And again. Yes. Now, typically we do it three times for the three aspect of the body, the physical, the energetic, and the mental, the intellectual, the mind part. So the Jing, the Qi, and the Shan. So let's do it once more like this. So inhale. Yes. Yes. So part of what we're doing here is the visualization, because this is an important part. The visualization is of the Qigong practice. So we're breathing in that fresh, clean Qi. We're filling the body up with this fresh fuel. And then on the exhale, we're expelling the grubby Qi. We're expelling the grief. We're expelling the loss, the sadness, all this stuff that's been dragging us down. And so it's inhale, bringing in all that nice, fresh, clean fuel. And then exhale, getting rid of these emotions that we really don't want to hang on to. And there's an, there's an additional movement here, which will help with this. So we're going to move into our horse riding stance. So the feet are much wider than the shoulders, but you want to be comfortable wherever you put your body. So no pain here. Now for this guy, we have a dragon's back. So we, we tuck the tailbone in, we drop the ribs, we drop the chin. We make that L again, bring the back of the hands together. And now inhale, shoulder blades come together. Exhale, yes. inhale, we rise up. So inhaling the fresh chi, exhaling, yes. and we're purging that grief, yes. that loss, yes. and that sadness. Yes. Then we'll do two more. Yes. Yes. And we bring the feet back together. And now we're pretty much at the end of our time today. So we're going to be doing the five direction meditation to wrap up for today. And we wanna be in that stacking of the bone stance. So the hip over the ankle. So the ribs, the hip, the knee, the ankle, that's the stack of bones. And the same thing happening over here. It happens that with this meditation, we will be moving from side to side a little bit. So we start here, inhale. We advance, exhale, we retreat, inhale, we move to the left, exhale, inhale, we look to the right, exhale, inhaling, 
and exhale. Inhaling for early summer. Exhale, winter. Inhale, spring. Exhale. Inhale, fall. Exhale. And then inhale, late summer. So inhale, the red phoenix. Exhale, the dark blue turtle. Inhale, the green dragon. Inhaling, the dark silver gray tiger. And the yellow golden center. One more cycle. And that's the class for today.